G'day everyone, thanks for joining me. I'm Raid Zero AU and welcome back to another episode of Planet Nomads. And I've made my way back from the wreck we were checking over there, and you'll see here I've made a few little changes. Uh, so I've managed to get, finish off the uh, ceiling, so we are now enclosed. Moved some of the stuff around over here, so moved the generator so it matches up with this one. I've moved the food and uh, drink device over here. And over on that side here, I've put in 12 cargo containers with the ports going up and down, so they all join together. And then across the uh, back here, just put some uh, conveyors across the back just to link the uh, three stacks. Followed by one in the center to go straight down into our constructor can hear there I've got the constructor going just making some uh, some stuff here so the one thing it wants us to do now is it wants us to make the personal armory which is this one compact armory I should say And to be honest, I probably put, should put the scanner back down there. I was playing around with things and somehow lost the scanner off my uh, toolbar. So this doesn't have a port attached to it, the compact armory. I'm, I'm imagining there'll probably be a bigger one later that does. But because of that, I'm just going to stick that one there. And we should just be able to make that. There we go. Task obtained. Gear up. New objective. Printer like no other. Check your data pad for more information. Okay. Let's go to our objectives. Uh, gear up. So it wants us to craft a jetpack, a suit, and a multi tool. And printer like no other. Unlock the best printer you have. High tech components in your armory. Those expensive parts are essential for creating. So we need three advanced ALMs. Right, let's have a look here. Oh, we haven't got power. Okay, we can fix that. Connect the electricity. Right, now tell me you don't have power. So it wants us to do a new exploration suit. So we need fabric, composite, electronics, and glass. Jetpack, plating, ALM, and a multi tool. ALM. Okay. Looks like it's all pretty similar stuff. We've probably still got some in these places here. That. Uh, do need some glass components. Fabric, electronics. Uh, that's probably it. Oh no, plating. We need the plating as well. Okay. Just dump all this in here. Have to do it manually because it doesn't have a conveyor, obviously. And craft me one of those. Followed by. No, we can't do that. We need three mechanical parts for that. I haven't got enough mechanical parts. All right. Make me some more of those then, please. Okay. And then I want you to make me one of those as well. That's the mechanical parts as well that it's saying doesn't have enough of. Now it wants us to make the advanced ALMs. We just need... We need... Well, we just need... We need titanium, so we're going to have to find some titanium. If I remember rightly, from when I played it previously we're not going to find titanium in this biome and the best way to change biomes is to go north or south so we're kind of i think we need to find either a desert or a uh, or a cold biome so maybe south maybe north would be the desert hmm. but we do have these other crash sites around that we need to go and investigate as well we can do that 
Now, while it's doing all this, in here... Well, actually... Need some of those. You go in there. Where's that going? Four of those in there. Another one in. Let's just cancel those and see what it... Uh, you can go in there. You can go in there. So it's got everything it needs now. It's good. Alright, so in here I've been making, and it's still doing it, making seeds. So we can make some more herbs in here in order to make the nutrition capsules. We need one fruitage and two herbs. We've got four fruitage. We're going to need eight herbs. We'll set that to craft after it finishes doing the seeds. That's quite nice. You can use one seed to get three. Alright. And we are now just really waiting for this to finish up. I'm just going to leave that going. Uh, we're pretty well rested. Um... Uh, yeah, we're not doing too bad. So I reckon what we'll do is we'll head over to these other wrecks and have a look at those. I think that would be an idea. And the next closest one is over here. Don't worry about doing too much mining at the moment. Task finished, gear up, so that's one of them. Right. I want to be a little bit careful because the one thing I'm not sure about is what happens if I roll this thing? Or if I get it stuck in a hole, like, no, don't roll. <laughs> he says as he just about rolls it. Get up there. Uh-oh. I mean, it's stuck in a hole like this. I could probably dig it out, but... Don't roll. Oh. No, 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 I'm about to roll it. I've just rolled it, haven't I? Yep. <sighs> All right. Tiger. What do we got in here? Large suspension, hover pad. That's no use to me. None of this stuff is any use to me. Uh, winch shackle and a winch. What does that need? Frame plating and mechanical parts. Winch shackle is just frame. We might be able to do something with this. Emergency 3D printer. Right. We're going to have to do get ourselves some resources. There's a rock over there. In fact, there's a rock just here. Let's... Get ourselves a little bit of resource. And see if we can't make this work. We're going to need quite a bit of stuff, I think. 
Well, we do have these ones here. We'll try not to get attacked by anything. Might get close enough. That's alright. That'll be enough to start off with. Let's flick our light on. It's a little bit dark down here. Alright, so where do I want to bring this thing out? Probably want to bring it out up over here, don't I? Hmm. Alright, well let's build a... Uh, Let's do an emergency. There. Open you up. Drop you guys in. And we're going to want... We we'll need some mechanical parts. How many mechanical parts do we need for the winch? Three. And some plating. Get rid of those. Just make what we need. That should be enough. The first thing we need to do is we need to attach the winch shackle. Don't we'll worry about the winch. Well, I don't know even whether this will work or not. Touch it there. Uh, gonna touch it there. Okay. Unlocked hover jack. Hmm. That's interesting. What's a hover jack? Rotating joint, hinge, hover jack. Lifts vehicle into the air, making them vulnerable. Requires electricity. Right. This requires electricity as well. Open this up. Right. So, oops, saving going. Depends what the range on this thing is. I suppose we'll find out. Up there. Now, I need to be able to access, if I can, that. See? Connect electricity. Let me attach to that. Not attached.
don't think we've got any power though. Alright, let's take that out of the way. Bring it in a bit closer. Uh, maybe up here. that to that right that's attached and what we want to do is we want to get some power from here to there And there we go. Alright. And what we'll do is we will then take that away. No, not that. Put that away. Right, we're still in here, but we just need to just be a bit careful about how we get out of here. All right, that worked out not so bad. And where were we headed? We were headed this way, weren't we? Let's just get up out of these. At least we're now mobile again. Oh, just watch out whenever you come out, coming across any dips in the ground. Kind of want to go down square if possible. Look out! Ouch! All right. All right, and we should have. A wreck over here around these trees. over there. What's in these rocks here? I wonder. Have a look. Anything in this one? This one looks, looks a little bit different. No, nothing. These are just rocks. No, nothing in those. Unfortunate. Oop. Not running into the rock. Alright, so this is the next wreck. Oh, looks like there's something there to scan. What's this? Mining rig. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we'll scan you That's for sure. New reward mining rig. Block catalog for more information. Mining rig. Ooh. Medium refinery. We need to build the uranium generator. Fully automated machine that can drill into metallic veins and mine ores. Can we take nice? Okay. What's that? Pile on with light. Indoor light. Okay. 
Alright. That's alright. We'll worry about that in a moment. Just look around the place here. Oh, here's the black box. Scan. Okay, survivors. Further analysis after encountering a massive energetic interference in the planet's atmosphere. The ship has been evacuated. Several Anita crew members remained alive on the surface for some time and attempted to disrupt the atmospheric defence and establish communication. Right. Well, we can get rid of that. And we've got here compact 3D printer. Nice. Take all of those. We've got some more enriched uranium. Uh, survivor's data pad. The road trip. First I thought I was daydreaming, but there they are. Beautiful, strange, monumental structures on the horizon. Striking visual similarity with Mars technology. Time for a trip. this one. Nobel Prize. It is the same technology we found on Mars as I've suspected. Each of these monuments serves as a transit station for a sophisticated portal system. They're possibly connected to that non-functional portal we tried to operate on the red planet. Not sure how much of the data Galena can translate but it's worth a try. Despite the tragedy and the utmost suspicious way we got to this place, there's going to be a ground baking, ground baking, ground breaking discovery. Not baking. Baking is for later. Okay. Okay. I like nothing better than a disembodied voice talking to me in my head. All right, let's we'll start salvaging. Just get rid of all the stuff from here. Worth grabbing everything we can. We can use it. Especially that mining rig. I would like to build one of those back at base, I think. I wonder if building it unlocks something else. Well, let's go about the ceiling. Transfer all this stuff over to the buggy to free up. Go. Once again, these ones don't have anything, do they? Carbon from that one. All right. If this is nothing in here. Well, we'll grab this one. I'm thinking I might need to put a couple more batteries or so on the uh, on the buggy here, so that we can head out. I'm just gonna do connect electricity, so I can see. All right, we're at eighty-four percent. Okay. Oops, don't do that. 
done that once before. All right, so we've got another one nearby. Just here. So we could head over there, have a look. Could stop and grab things like this. Fruit from that. Also get some seeds from it. It's useful. Get some more here. herbs from that one. All right, keep heading over this way. Uh, it's up on this side, the looks of things. A little bit careful. We are going to bounce around a little bit. Alright, thought we got some more stuff here. Right, let's check out what we got here. First things first, get your. Got that one. Get the scanner out. We will see if there's anything we can scan. Well, we can because there is. Scan a battery depleted. There is the black box. We will scan that. Energy wave. The amount of damage on the electronic system suggests that Anita systems have been hit with the same massive energetic wave as the, as the planet's surface. The disruption of Anita systems suddenly disappears and sudden disappearance of human scientists from the planet surface is probably connected. Ooh. Objective completed, broken. Okay. So, crew story. We need to uh, continue to read some of these. So the broken is done. Scan. Gear up. Printer like no other. National Geographic. Yep. Right. Anything else to scan around here? Anything in here that we can see? All right. We might just have to uh, break that down. I think. Get inside. All right. All right. Open that one up. Unpack three D printer. Nothing in there. No generator. Nothing there. Ah, there's the container. What we got in here? More uranium. Purified water can go. So, go there, go there. We just uh, can't take everything this time. Don't have room. Okay. What we can do is we can have a look at these. Memories of Mars. I'll never forget the day my father uncovered the derelict. We found this technology on Mars 10 years ago. Their DNA technology enabling incredible progress in genome sequencing. The negative mass generators enabled breakthrough in interstellar travel. It's like the creators anticipated we'd be at this stage of development. That excites me and scares me. However, there is no evidence Mars was their home planet. Is this their home world? Where are they? Do they know we have arrived? Hmm. They left many suns ago. I do know about the doing. Know about you. More than humans think. 
Okay. Right. Messages. There is no doubt these are the creations of the same race, same language, same patterns, same materials. I've recovered part of the messages by creative scientists. They contain reference to many words they in to many worlds they inhabited. Some are given rather strange descriptions. Examples Cetus L H S one one four zero clear. Wolf one oh six one C dark shadow slash dark. Trappist one E neutral. Hypothesis. We must have been exploring these planets for colonizing. What happened to them? Why did Wolf 1061C go dark? Hmm. Right, let's drop some stuff. Oop. Oh, what am I doing? Wrong way. Go. Okay. And we'll take that. And salvage time. salvage up the top go up have a look little scannable item there's nothing else around here that's scannable all right anything in there nope Let's grab all these. And we do need some titanium. Getting some good stuff from here. We'll just save us on uh, having to make or use our own resources to make this stuff. Why not get nutrition level dropping? Okay. Right. Well, you eat that then. Well state. And have a drink as well Good while you're at it. Secured. I'll just take all of this apart. Wow, it's all made of little blocks. Interesting. This is a way of uh, because the ceilings do just kind of hang there.
Right, so I didn't actually get rid of the black box. We'll get rid of that. Because we've been here. We go to space, yep. Alright. Shouldn't take us too long to get rid of this. I really should call this space salvages. Well, I think the idea is that we make ourselves some sort of small base on wheels, maybe? And I know they've got flying vehicles in this, so we want to be looking at that at some stage. Getting... A lot of plating and frames we're getting at the moment. Shouldn't be needing to make any of those for a while. So these logs are interesting. The uh, the crew logs are interesting. I've got a. I'm starting to think that. When it talks about the energy surge on this planet and scientists disappearing and the fact that the monuments are portals and things like that, i got a feeling they've travelled through the portals somewhere. And the question is, is that going to be our destiny? guess time will tell. We've got another foundation there. What's there? We've got this wreckage here we can use. This take, these ones take a little bit to get rid of, but you generally get some decent items from them. planet is quite large so I think for us to be able to do exploration of any uh, particular length we're going to need to be able to produce food and things like that that's some good um, good resources we've got there all right so let's have a look at our map so that leaves us with this one and this one so I'm thinking what we're going to do is we'll head over to this one and then head back to the base. This, the A here is still the first wreck that we went to. And I still haven't gone back and uh, dismantled all of that. That's obviously the monument. So I reckon that's what we will look at doing. but. I think we'll leave that for the next episode. How is our power going? 76. So we're not too bad. If I can avoid rolling the thing, it might not be too bad. I think with the items I've got there, if worst case scenario came along, I could uh, just quickly build a bio generator and uh, cut down a tree charge up the batteries again we could do that but that's where i'm going to call up for today hope you've enjoyed what you've watched if you have please leave a like and subscribe i look forward to seeing you all next time i'm raid zero au signing out